Uh, this is part of the video series on technology uh, located at clinicalpsychologystudent.com. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to format a table of contents. Um, keep in mind this isn't exactly APA formatting. Um, you're going to want to check into exactly what that is, but I'm going to show you the basics um, that, a lot, that trip up a lot of people. So uh, here we have a, a table of contents that has been attempted to be formatted. You can see there's kind of a jaggedness to the, um, the alignment of these numbers. You know, basically this was done by, you know, just typing periods. Um, and that's not the ideal way to do this. Um, here's another table in which we have a tab and then we have a similar type of um, uh, periods, I guess, trailing to uh, a final page number that, that is right aligned to the edge of the page. So I'm going to go over how to do this um, the ideal way. Uh, so let's start with the top. So this is going to be centered, which it is. Um, page is typically right aligned. That may differ based on what your school's requirements or the APA requirements are. Um, in this case, that's fine. We're right aligned. And you'll notice we have a um, with page layout, our margins are a little different. Uh, we have a, a larger left margin for binding um, that goes along with this school's requirement for dissertations. So that's fine. Um, everything else is, is left aligned to um, you know zero inches. Um, as we can see here, we are left aligned. Um, that, so that's what we want. This is a top level category, which is uh, according to this style guide, um, all in capital letters. And again, we have these, these um, periods leading all the way to uh, this um, uh, Roman numeral number. So, Okay, there we go. So the first thing that I'm going to demonstrate is, is really how to get um, all of this uh, formatted uh, in a nicer way and, and have this um, Roman numeral digit uh, right aligned. So basically the way to do this is with tabs. Um, so I'm going to actually just eliminate that space, all those periods here. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go into, if I right click, I can go into paragraph, and there's a tabs a button I can click on. So I'm going to clear all the tabs, because I think by default there, there's tabs every 0.5 inches all the way along the document. So I'm going to clear all of them. And all I want is, you know, the first one, uh, which already exists uh, at zero inches, and I, I want another one at six inches. I want that one to be for this number and I want it to be right aligned. And I guess, yeah, they call this leader. So I can specify what the leader is for this. And in this case, we want periods. So we'll click set. You could see these are all the tabs that now exist and click OK. So now as soon as we hit tab, um, we have nice uh, leading periods uh, all the way up to a right aligned uh, number. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to repeat this operation um, by, uh, I'm at least going to repeat it for, for the, the top level um, titles, I guess you can call them. And so to do that, so what I'm going to do is click on this line. And I'm also going to use the control key to click on other lines. So I can select multiple lines at the same time. I'm using a Windows machine. It might be a different key other than control on, on a Mac machine, but you can figure this out. So I'm going to highlight, and that, that's good, highlight all these top level nodes. And um, now that I've got that, I'm just going to repeat that operation again. So I'm going to go to paragraph, tabs, and I'm going to clear all six inches 
right with a leader. I'm going to set that and we should be all set. So now we need to just change these into um, a tab. So I'm going to select all of these, hit the tab button and you see we have this again. So I'm going to fly through the rest of these tab 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 and so on looks like we had an extra tab in there um, one more tab okay so that takes care of these uh, top level nodes. So next we want to take care of the um, uh, second level nodes or titles, whatever we want to call them. So yeah, the, the way to do this is ideally to um, have a, we go into paragraph, have an indentation, a left indentation of, in this case, uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 inches um, before each one of these. So I'm going to make sure that that is the case on all of these and, and that a regular tab character hasn't been used. Um, so in this case, there is a tab character here. You could see that. So we're going to eliminate that. Looks like that's done in this whole section. And instead, I'm going to highlight these again using control to highlight them. Right click and paragraph. And I'm going to change this left to um, 0.5 inches. Hit OK. All right, so I got that section. Looks like the same thing we'll have to do for this section. How about these? Yeah. Uh, it looks like that one is already done that way. It's a little inconsistent. Um, draw out the document. OK. So I'm going to select these, these, and these. Right click, paragraph, and again, we're going to set this to 0.5 inches. All right, perfect. Uh, this one is already set to 0.5. Yep. Okay, so now with that taken care of, I'm going to go on and do um, the same thing that we did before, uh, which is adjusting our, our tab stops. So I'm um, going to select all these second level nodes. All right, right click, paragraph, tabs. We're going to clear all the tab stops. And I'm going to say six inches, which is, as you can see, the edge of the page here, right aligned and a leading character of periods. Set. OK. So now we just have to go back and, and replace these manual periods with just um, tabs for all the uh, second level nodes. All right. Just hitting tab as I highlight all of these here. Okay, so that's taken care of. You can see already it's it's much better aligned. Um, there's going to be this third level node which we'll have to do the same thing um, to. So, and you could see there's, you could see the inconsistency here. So again, now we're gonna make sure that we have this um, in paragraph, we have a left indentation now of one inch for this third level node, okay, um, and eliminate all all periods bef or all uh, tabs before that. So there's some use of tabs here. Uh, select these paragraph. So we want the left to be one inch. Looks like the f 
first line first line is how that was previously set up so we don't want that um, so there's that let's make sure these other ones are taken care of the same way it looks like two tabs were used for this section so I'm gonna get rid of those highlight this paragraph and I'll put that at one inch and we're all set for all the one, two, three, the third level nodes. So, so now we're just going to repeat this process again, highlighting these third level nodes, right click, paragraph, tabs. I'm going to clear all the tab stops. And again, at six inches, we're going to write a line and use these periods as leading characters. All right, so now all we have to do is go back in and replace all these manual periods with the tab. Okay, and last two. All right, so as you can see, we have just very nicely aligned, right aligned um, table of contents. Uh, so I'm missing a period there. So um, that should take care of the first page. So now sometimes there's a little bit more advanced things. Um, so here's a list of tables where we have a mandatory tab here and then um, there will be another tab stop which will require us to use those leading characters of periods. Um, so here I'll, I'll walk you know, us through this. Make sure that this is center aligned, which it is. This should be right aligned, which it is. And then what we're going to do here is I'm going to highlight these we're going to set two tab stops. So the first is just a regular tab um, that's going to bring us out to one inch. And then the second one is a tab that will be um, a right aligned tab stop at six inches with these leading period characters. So let's highlight everything that we need to do that way. Go to paragraph and tabs. Let's clear everything. And again, so at one inch, we're going to set a regular left aligned tab with, with no leading characters. As you can see, one inch, that's for this. We hit set. And then at six inches, we want a right aligned character, uh, right aligned tab stop with, with these leading characters of period. So we'll set that, hit OK. Um, so you could tell the first time I hit tab, whoops, first time I hit tab, it brings us over um, to one inch. And then if I replace all these manual periods with another tab, it goes um, and makes this tab uh, a right aligned tab stop at six inches with leading characters. All right, so um, again, I don't have to do this. This is already taken care of. I'm just gonna replace these. All right, so we have a perfectly right aligned uh, list of tables. Um, hope this video is helpful um, for making uh, and formatting a manual table. A lot of people like to um, and prefer to, you know, kind of make their table themselves, use numbers themselves. Uh, in a future video, maybe I'll cover how to um, get Microsoft Word to generate some of this for you. Um, but hope this was helpful. Uh, please visit clinicalpsychologystudent.com and feel free to ask questions on our forum and um, I would be happy to try to answer you know, whatever I can.